and then let me grab my teacups. Hello and welcome to my channel Healing Marie Vintage. Today I have a very fun thrift edition I guess for you guys. Um, come thrifting with me. In this one I was focused primarily on the Halloween section in the thrift stores. Some of you know from this channel or from other channels Halloween is one of the best times thrift vintage. A lot of times things that the thrift stores find costumey are vintage pieces and genuine like nice older vintage pieces. Almost all of the stuff I find at the thrift store that's like 40s, 50s, or like something like a gunny sacks I find during Halloween. No gunny sacks this year, but I still think I found some really, really great finds. We're gonna jump into the footage. I just focused the footage in this thrift thing around the Halloween section of the store. I didn't film much else besides the dressing room. If you do wanna see these items tried on, uh, you'll definitely wanna watch the fitting room portions of those like going to the thrift stores because I will not be trying these on for you guys at the end of the video. However, if you're just here for the haul, the haul will be at the end of the video. So uh, we are gonna get started and we are gonna jump into that footage right now. All right, I don't know if you can see, there's the Goodwill behind me. It is October 1st. We are hitting the thrift stores because Halloween is the best time of the year to thrift, especially if you are looking for vintage. A lot of places think vintage are costumes, which is fine by me. So I am excited to actually be in Colorado during this season to be able to hit the racks and I will be taking you along with me. Um, I forgot my microphone, so far, sorry about the sound quality, but let's go see what we can find in this Goodwill. All right, here we are in the Halloween section. It's pretty much a bust here. Lots of like graduation gowns, children's costumes, like stuff that is like the cheap stuff out of the bags. I was amused. There were quite a few Dorothy costumes for girls, but uh, not for like women, but I thought it was just kind of interesting to see a Dorothy costume in the wild since I had done mine, which I'll link the video of up above. Here, I felt like this rack over here was more promising because it was the taller rack uh, and more likely to have like vintage gowns and things on it. But like, again, lots of these like cheap costumes. However, I didn't buy this. I love it. I think it's so gorgeous, but this is a beautiful, I think 1950s wedding dress. Um, I didn't pick it up for a few reasons, one being that it had spots, and another being I had limited suitcase space, uh, so I couldn't really just take this with me because I wanted it, but it is a really beautiful 50s um, wedding gown. I believe it's 50s just because you'll see later I look at the tag um, and the details on it are just really nice, but as you can see there's some staining right there. Um, but yeah, the tag is beautiful, the buttons are beautiful. It was a beautiful, beautiful dress, but I just couldn't justify uh, taking home a 1950s wedding dress. Here we have my cart and what I have in it so far. Uh, so you can see lots of good stuff to try on and maybe buy. And then in here, I have lots and lots more stuff to try on. I had pretty good luck finding vintage, not on the Halloween rack, mixed in with the other dresses. I tried this one on. I thought the sleeves were really beautiful and the texturing was interesting. However, I decided it ultimately was not for me, even though it was really cute. This dress here was a nice homemade dress, probably from the 60s or 70s. It's really cute, but it's not very flattering and it just, it doesn't, it's just like not my style so I decided to let this one go. And then this guy here is a really funky, weird t-shirt dress, most likely from like 90s to like the odds. Uh, it was tighter than I expected, which is not quite my style, but I did think this was a really cute dress and I almost uh, regret picking, not picking it up. Uh, I did pick this one up even though it didn't fit me. Uh, this is a really beautiful, I believe, silk 19 50s piece and I couldn't bear to think it could possibly go to landfill if I didn't buy it So I did pick it up look at the details So if you're interested in this I will be reselling it So if you're interested in it definitely drop a comment down below This one here is a really beautiful rayon and linen blend. I thought this was gorgeous I really like the color. It's kind of a periwinkle and it fit me really really well I did have to think a bit about this like I wasn't sure how much it fits into my wardrobe because it's so simple and I don't wear very many simple pieces, but I decided to get it and give it a go and trying something a little bit more simple in my wardrobe. Here we have what is likely a 90s piece. I really like the buttons down the side and the feature it has there. I think it's a really stunning piece. It just isn't quite my style or I knew I would get rid of it and it was just a tiny bit big on me, so I did decide to leave it at the thrift store. Ugh, this coat here, this coat was so fun. This isn't, again, quite my style, but I had to try it on and show you guys it's this really long kind of funky coat with this weird zip up thing in the middle and then it also had buttons along each side which you can see there so you could actually like button it like a normal jacket 
Uh, I didn't pick this up just because, like I said, it's not quite my style, but I did think it was super fun and I wanted to try it on. This skirt here, I was so sad it was too big on me because I loved the weird like spirals. I don't know, it kind of felt very Halloween and kind of spooky to me, like very vortexy, but it ultimately was too big on me, so I left it at the thrift store. This skirt here, I was devastated it was too big for me. It looks like it fits, but it's actually lower on my waist than I like my skirts. But it was such a cute denim button-up skirt. I'm hoping I will find my dream skirt like this in my size someday because it is truly a treat. All right, we are next day, uh, next thrift shop. This one usually has a better Halloween section. Yesterday was a big disappointment. Pretty much it was all new costumes, which I should have figured from Goodwill, but since this is kind of a smaller local store, I'm hoping their Halloween section is better, so fingers crossed, I'm gonna head on in. All right, here we are in the Halloween section. There's some really pretty vintage wedding dresses like always. This one is uh, just, I think, really lovely. But these were all much too big for me, so I didn't pick any of them up. However, I thought they were lovely and a lot were in really, really good vintage condition, so it was too bad they weren't my size. That is another nice prairie dress, but it was definitely too big for me. But yeah, uh, I find I'm in like the end cap section right now, and these end caps usually tend to have longer dresses, so it's more likely to have actual vintage pieces in them. So I usually beeline for these. I also thought this was lovely. This is definitely also a vintage homemade piece that I thought was pretty, but it was also too big for me. Here we have a cheerleader top. I talked myself out of it, but I thought it was super fun. This is like from my, when I was in high school, so not vintage yet. And then here I am just kind of cruising. It's pretty easy when you're going through the Halloween section to spot vintage versus like cheap, ugly, old, or like new costume. Uh, I did find these really lovely kind of like 80s prairie dresses. And then here, I really liked this. This had like a cute little pink polka dot and I believe bow theme. It was very 80s though and the cut was not quite for me. Uh, even though I love 80s, it just wasn't the right type of 80s. And then here, this I thought was so cool. This is like a genuine 50s or 60s piece in the wild uh, metal zip. It's that like I have pieces from, I believe, the 50 to 60s. Like it's kind of like that borderline. I have pieces from that time that look exactly like this. And then I also thought that this green dress was really pretty and I was very excited to try it on. All right, we have made it to the fitting rooms. This one unfortunately doesn't fit me, but I thought it was a fun piece nonetheless with the half sparkle and the half black and the gold trim. This here is a really lovely raspberry colored blouse. It fits me really well on the shoulder and the sleeves are really nice and everything fit really, really well. And I really like it has like a pretty like cherry texture I was trying to show you, but not successfully. We are on a roll for blouses that fit my tiny shoulders. Uh, this one also fits and it's kind of, it reminds me a little bit of Sleepy Hollow uh, with the stripes, even though it's purple and not white. Uh, I thought this was so cute and perfect for Halloween. So I was very excited about it. Here I have put a Halloween vest over it. Uh, this Halloween vest didn't button, which is not my preference. So I ended up not picking it up, but I thought it was super fun and goofy and very spoopy. Uh, this one here, I really liked this cardigan, but it had Angora in it and I won't break out in hives just from like trying it on, but if I wore it over time, I would definitely break out in hives, but it was really cute and I was very bummed to have to leave it. Uh, this here, I am wearing both the blouse. I didn't really like this blouse that much and then I also am trying it on with this really bold red and gold skirt that I thought was super beautiful. It was missing a button and then it also just was still too big for me. I was really not on a roll when it came to skirts this trip. Um, I could find them but not in my size. Uh, this is a skirt that I loved. Again, it was just a little bit too big. All of these aren't hitting me on my natural waist. I feel like it's hard to tell because I'm trying them on with these oversized blouses. And then I loved this leather skirt and I was thinking about trying to figure out how to like sew it to make it work. It was, it was $35 and $35 is too much. Like that was my whole budget for just this thrift store. So I didn't want to spend it all on this leather skirt even though I thought it was really, really cool. All right, here is that really beautiful 60s number. It did fit me okay, except for in the shoulders. I couldn't zip it up or like move my shoulders very well at all. So I ended up leaving this one there, even though I thought it was so cute. It was just, it was just a little bit not right in the fit. Here is one of those really lovely 80s dresses. I definitely took this one home. Look at it, so cute. It fit 
really well. I really liked it and I was super, super stoked. All right, and then here is that pink one. I decided I had to decide between this one and the other one and I liked the other one better. Also, this one had some really gross stains happening, so we don't need that business. I think I could have gotten them out, but uh, yeah, uh, I liked the other one better and it had no stains, so bonus. This one here I loved. Uh, the fit of it in the bodice was so cool with all the pin tuck details. Um, and then the sleeves were really cute. The sleeves were a bit too small, and so I did a little bit of surgery to open them up for my arms, but I felt like it was worth it because I thought this dress was so pretty. The biggest downside of this dress, however, I'm trying to show you here, is it has staining down the front of the skirt. However, I am happy to tell you it did come out in the wash, and this was a great purchase for me. Alrighty, folks, uh, we are at the last thrift store of the trip. The thrift store I went to before this was so packed with people, holy cow, so I didn't film much besides the fitting room. And then here, this one so far looks less busy, fingers crossed. This one usually has the best vintage in the Halloween section, so I'm super excited um, given I found amazing things at the last one, so I'm really excited to see what I find at this one. All right, we're in the thrift store. As you can see, I am cruising through their Halloween section. What a big bummer. Usually their Halloween section is amazing, and this year it was really disappointing. It was a lot of, like, not even costuming stuff. And then a lot of like really cheap clothing. It's like if it was a cheaply made item, they assumed it belonged in the Halloween section. So that was just really disappointing. So yeah, I just kind of speeded through here. I did think this was cute, but I didn't get it because it's orange. Um, they also had popcorn tops, which I thought was kind of hilarious. Um, a lot of popcorn tops. All right, we've made it to the fitting rooms. I found lots of things not in the Halloween section. This here is a really beautiful linen, I believe 80s piece given the shoulder pads, and I really like how it kind of like chevrons in at the front. All right, this here was a sweater that it was nice. It was one of the nice cotton sweaters, but it was warmer in colors, and I'm not a warm color person, so I did leave it at the store just because while it was cute, I like other sweaters in my collection more. This sweater I thought was super cute. Like, I liked the knit. It was super colorful and kind of pom-pom-y. However, I hated the cowl, so I went ahead and left it. This one here just kind of, like, tickled me. I thought it was really funny because it's a Juicy Couture piece, and as you can see, it's, like, sequined, and it is the most uncomfy thing ever. I feel like Juicy Couture is known for their comfort wear, but when they, like, tried to do wild things they end up with really uncomfortable stuff. All right this blouse here was a big surprise for me. I really thought it was pretty. It's a cold water creek which like is kind of a stereotypical like old lady blouse but I thought it was really beautiful and it looks very 70s inspired and I can see it like tucked into things or used with like a jumper and looking really really cute that way with all these lace details it has. This shirt here I absolutely loved. This was like very western inspired. It has some great western inspired details with the denim and then it was on a black velvet and so I got it. I thought it was great. Very exciting. This sweater here I thought was absolutely lovely. It was so so feminine. It was very detailed. It says it's hand knit but you know I'm always skeptical about that. However it was so lovely. This piece here I like love in concept but it was really really big on me which I knew was going to happen but I love sheer sleeves that end in a sparkle cuff. So we maybe will see a sewing project related to something like this in the future. I don't know. This here I thought was really cute. It was a nice like 80s power suit, uh, matching pocket square, all that jazz. I thought, like I said, I think this is really cute. I just really like have a bunch of 80s piece that I like a little bit better that are already in my closet. So I'm gonna stick with those. This here was actually the only thing I got out of the costume section. Uh, it was like a really weird fabric and it like clung weird and I just, I didn't like it so I didn't get it. Alrighty, that was the last one. Um, interesting thrift trip. Uh, their Halloween section was incredibly disappointing this year, which is super, like, big bummer because it was so good the past two years. Uh, I didn't get anything from the Halloween section this time, which is pretty wild. However, I did find some really, really great and interesting finds. I would say not super vintage, uh, definitely kind of more modern. But uh, next will be the haul, and so we'll dive into that footage. All right, now you have come along with me for the thrift store. You have seen the items on me. You have seen what I decided to leave. Uh, first things first, I'm going to just jump into housewares right off the bat to get it. I was not going to say over with it, but like I think the clothing I found was a lot more exciting. Um, first up, we have this cute little tin. I really liked how like mosaic-y this tin was. I thought it was really cute. I picked it up. Do I need it? No. Cool. Let's talk teacups. Uh, these like actually aren't that spectacular and I didn't need to pick them up. Honestly, these are like, they're fine. Um, 
So like they're nothing exciting. They are cute, but they're like worn and not in the best shape. I do really like this one. These are definitely like an example of me like mindlessly thrifting. Uh, and it will go in my tea display for now, but this would be like if I ever had to like cut down on the teacups I had in my cabinet, this would probably be one to go. I hate sounding unenthusiastic about what I got at the thrift store, but sometimes it happens and like I think it's really honest or like important to be honest about when that does happen because we all impulse purchase and like maybe aren't the most excited after. Uh, this was another, I bought this set, I thought it looked really, really pretty, but it's not very practical. I don't actually know like if this is supposed to be like a bowl versus a teacup because it's like too wide and shallow for a teacup. I do think that this is really pretty um, and I do actually use my china that I get at the thrift shops. So like it's ideal for it to be practical, uh, but I do really like the pattern of the plate uh, and I do like this like weird little saucer thing. That I like if you know what it's for definitely comment down below next up uh, I really like this uh, this will probably like go into my like going out purses uh, I like it because I can kind of like get it up on my shoulder if I want to but also it's like more of a handbag that you hold like a handbag uh, I thought the color was nice uh, the inside's in pretty good condition. The outside is a little bit rough condition, but I did think this was pretty. Uh, this was actually the most expensive item I purchased, I think, out of everything at $8. So it maybe wasn't worth $8, but I do really like it. And at the very least, I'll really like looking at it. I hang all my purses on a wall, so... Uh, that'll be nice. We'll jump into fabric next. I did buy fabric. I know I constantly say I'm on a fabric buying ban and then I buy more fabric. I like don't know what else to say. What can you do? Um, but first up, there's this really cute uh, vintage alphabet fabric that I really like thought was adorable. Um, it has like, I don't usually like things with children on them, but it has all these like kind of cute like children playing scenes and they're just kind of weird. I'm not quite sure yet what I'll do with this because obviously it won't lend itself well to anything that like requires darts because it would break up the image. I also got this cute uh, cherry teacup teapot. I don't know, this fabric. I just thought it was fun. I'm gonna just make a set of masks for it. I've been kind of adding to my mask collection because uh, over the year I have been losing them and while in lots of places in the country masks are like kind of not a thing in Seattle everybody wears masks and they're required by law everywhere and for me personally I really like wearing masks in the winter they keep my face warm and they keep people from talking to me on public transit so I'm gonna make up some new masks for me uh, and then I also got this really beautiful quilted like faux quilt fabric that I'm adding to my pile for like making kind of more patchwork tops. And I also got this. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a feed sack, but I don't think it is one. Um, but it just has really lovely illustrations on it, like coffee. So I just plan on using this kind of like patchwork on like items that I sew for clothing. I think it's really pretty. Like I love these mushrooms and I like the flower basket and the bread's really cute. I don't know, I just, I like the whole thing. And then this one just came in the pack. I'm not like super thrilled about it. It's to make like heart-shaped pillows. Again, this is something I'm just gonna try to use in some of the blouses I have planned. And then last up, we have this really pretty yellow striped fabric. It's a like petite striped little flower fabric. I think this will make a really pretty blouse or something like that. And then now we will cruise on into clothing. Uh, I found some amazing pieces as usual during Halloween at the thrift store. Uh, first up, this is like less exciting. It's just some, a nice undergarment. I think it's vintage because it has an LA Garment Uni Union label on it. Um, but it's funny because I looked up the brand and they're still selling the exact same piece. But I like this because the back on it is a lot lower and it also has a plunge neckline. Um, and I don't like to wear strapless bras. I like to wear whole bustiers. Instead, I just find that they like stay up better and I feel less self-conscious in them. Let's dive into some blouses. Uh, this is a great example of like kind of modern blouses that you can find at the thrift store that like can convert really well. I think this actually looks pretty 70s even though it's definitely like mid 2000s it kind of reminds me like inspired by gunny sacks this here is a really gorgeous it's a linen blouse um and it's short sleeve and i really liked these like kind of um, military-esque details that you can see here next up we have a really fun 80s or 90s piece um, i'm not quite sure which decade but it's definitely more modern um it's really pretty it's just like bright colored clothing and like a little lace collar and it fits me really, really well. I believe it has 
no it does not have pockets i almost got tricked i thought for a second it had pockets next up i will have discussed this on the try on portion that was earlier in the video this one doesn't fit me the best but it's a really nice 50s piece i'm just trying to get it turned inside out um but i just like didn't want to like potentially leave for the landfill it was on like the last color markdown before they get rid of an item and I, yeah, I just, I didn't like the idea of this one going to the landfill. So I did pick it up and I will be getting it into my resale shop. So if this is something that is you're interested in, uh, you can just comment down below and I'll make sure to like post the link when I get this actually posted. I don't know if that's going to happen with this video. Next up, if I can separate it out, uh, I have this beautiful linen dress. Uh, this is by clues i think this is probably a 90s piece it's just a really really simple dress oh yeah baby my spooky girl is lecturing me currently yeah yeah okay are we done uh, i should have buttoned this and now i'm gonna have to do it i'm just gonna do every other it's a trick that you learn when you work resale to only button the first two buttons and then you button every other down the blouse to not be stuck buttoning buttons all day from all the people who try things on the fitting room. Uh, it's funny because now a lot of times I'll, I'll like button things out of a fitting room because I've had that job and it sucks. <laughs> um, and I'm like, it, it's like, like, while I don't enjoy doing it, I would rather do it than have somebody else. Uh, this is a really nice kind of like raspberry-ish colored blouse. Uh, it has like little berries on it, um, like in the pattern. I'm hoping you can see that. Uh, the camera that I'm using right now, like looking at it, shows it like much more neon. This is much more of like a subtle raspberry color as opposed to a bright raspberry color, but I think it's really lovely and it fit me really, really well. This here, I just thought was so fun and perfect for spooky season. Uh, this will look so great with black and with the stripes. It is a little bit like kind of cheesy looking or Halloween-y looking. This one is a super lovely like 70s pattern. I'm just trying to get it a little bit buttoned so it looks a little bit less horrible. Uh, it's super wrinkly because it's rayon and it's been in a suitcase and I haven't steamed it because I don't, I don't bother to steam garments until I'm gonna wear them because I have to steam them again usually after storing them. So this here is the 70s blouse. I really liked this pattern. I thought it was really nice with the stripes in the front and then it kind of is like rug looking in the back and I really liked the like pastel pinks and like the dusty browns. Uh, usually I'm not a huge paisley fan but I felt like all these colors actually like went together really well which is for me the key on a good paisley. Uh, next up I found it's called Colleen's Collectibles. It's a knitted by hand sweater uh, and I just thought this was stunning. Look at the details on this. Uh, the like roses and flowers in it are so pretty around the collar. This is just a super fun and girly sweater. Um, and then the like, I guess the hand knitted detail in it is just really, really nice. And it's cotton, which means I'll wear it a lot. Uh, I find that cotton sweaters are the ones I like the best. And then last up, I'm very excited about this. So I did some of the alterations I planned on. This is probably a 60s late 60s early 70s piece um, but it is really gorgeously made so i really love the detail of the like little cut here i really like this and then i took out they had taken in this detail and it actually didn't fit me but they have since taken it out and so that is exciting for me and then the most exciting part is in the dressing room i tried to point out some stains i have now washed it and all the stains have come out i do still think i'm going to shorten this into a mini dress just because the maxi length in this satin uh, is just not super wearable for me, but if I bring it into mini, I think it'll be perfect. But this one then rounds out that haul, so I hope you enjoyed this thrift with me video. Um, more will be coming because uh, coming up in the holidays, I will be in and out of Denver, so I will be thrifting more, um, and I love thrifting there compared to Seattle because the prices are just much more reasonable there. If you enjoyed this video, definitely stick around and subscribe. I would love to have you, and I will see you next time. Bye!